Artistic Brothers, otherwise known as Art Bros. Mm -hmm. Guys, me, Mike Q, and Fancy Dave, we are back for another installment of this beautiful show we like to call Art Bros. Or Die Trying. Or Die Trying. And uh, we're going to be talking about some, some video. Well, this video that we have of this piece. Okay, it's a video of a piece, right? Which in itself is a video installation, so... Yes, yes. Like that's that. like the inception of... <laughs> <laughs> it's, inception, it's art within art, man. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this thing over here. And what we're looking at is what I see is... Um, like pex plexiglass mm -hmm. put together and on it there seems to be like a projection yeah and the projection seems to be of like this uh, pixelated plumbing. water screaming yeah kind of thing. it's pixelated oh. oh you're right it is pixelated yeah oh and what's funny is the pe plexiglass itself looks like pixels too mm -hmm. so it's kind of a very digital take on nature which that's pretty pretty sweet combining those two elements right there. Mm -hmm. The artist's name is Philip Sapphire uh, or Sapphire. Uh, Philippe. I'm sorry. Yeah, Philippe Sapphire. Yeah. Man, I'm sorry. I'm not, I can't get the ratchet out of me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So Philip Sapphire. You know the guy? Yeah, I've met him. Okay, cool. We're friends. Yeah. Um, and I really like this. It's called Last Summer. It's a multimedia installation. Um, it's made of computer film, video projection, plexiglass, and paper. And it's made in 2013, people. NYC. NYC! Super contemporary on the art bros. Mm -hmm. So, overall, I'm getting like this really, really serene feel. If you, if you guys watch this video on YouTube, it's got really nice classical piano going yeah. to it. So, overall, you're supposed to... I, I feel like you're supposed to get... Yeah, well, this. Send, put a link down there for the video on YouTube and right. other work as well. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, I'm getting, like like I said, a serene feel. I'm getting really calm. The description says dreamlike, right? It is dreamlike. The world of dreaming itself. Yes, it's very dreamlike, actually. And I love that it's 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 2D, it's yeah. flat, but it's 3D. Yeah, it's suspended within our three-dimensional space, but it's projecting a flat image, a little flat video, right? Yeah, it is. But um, the video can be seen on the other side, too. Yes. This is so interesting. That was some, I was in that in something similar. I forget where it might have been. I think oh it was at the the MoMA. Mm -hmm. They had like a projection of an elephant, like walking around and doing tricks. And the projection was you could see it from the front, you could see it from the back, you could go all over the place. So I'm getting like the similar vibe here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, I honestly don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have seen this piece in person. It looks. It seems so so unreal. Yeah, it's very unreal. Very serene. Like, yeah. It, I find it interesting that he chose to abstract something like water. Oh, true that. Yeah. yeah. True that. I saw that other video he posted up uh, the inspiration for this piece. It's just running water. Yeah. Oh, like a like a little like a some sort of like riverbed or like a or or, or something like that. Just running water. And I, I get that. I do. And I get that from here. I didn't realize it was pixelated until you told me. Yeah, yeah. until this close-up right here. Yeah, this close-up. these parts right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see the close-up of the water, you can tell it's pixelated. But it looks so natural. It looks so good. It looks like... And... Yeah. It's deceptively simple. Deceptively simple, yes, yes. Very true. Could be a commentary on pixelated life style that we live in. No. Yeah. So, like I said... Calm, serene. I feel like someone is projecting my dream onto this pixelated screen. Mm -hmm. Although I don't normally dream about water. <laughs> that might mean something else. Oh man! Oh, <laughs> oh man! Uh, what are you, what's your what's your take on this? Well, again, I said the uh, deceptive simplicity of this piece. Um, again, it's it's not a it's not a rectangular thing. It's projected onto the plexiglass. Mm -hmm. It's like cut off into the shape of the water itself it's uneven oh yeah you're right yeah oh, you yeah, see right that. yeah kind of like a puddle yeah like a pixelated it's puddle like, or a splash right there in mm. midair yeah very true like it's caught it's yeah. caught in the middle of motion you know yeah that's that's pretty that's pretty sweet I like this I like this a lot it's making me happy <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I had seen this piece like in person yeah I hope we can see it sometime in person mm -hmm. I hope it, I hope hey um, Philippe if you're listening we want to see it in person hang it up for us somewhere 
We'll come. We'll come look at. It. Hang it up in your garage. We'll come look at it. We will. I'll fall asleep to it. Looks nice. So I, I believe that for me, mm-hmm. my fi- my takeaway on this is the the amazing quality of the pixels looking like actual water. Organic. It's the like, yeah, yeah. It's like a digital thing that looks so organic. It fooled me. It fooled me. I didn't know it was pixels until you told me it was. Mm-hmm. And now I'm looking at it, and all I see are pixels. But it's so. It's like I said. It's deceptive. Like you said, it's deceptive. And for me, that's I'm like, whoa, yeah, that's great. And the presentation, the overall presentation of this is, is amazing. It's like splendid. If you just take it a like a fast glance at it, you really wouldn't think much, right? Yeah. But once you start looking at it more, you start noticing there's a lot more thought that went into this. Yes. And I like pieces that are like that. Yeah, it's true. Like it's it's it, made for like all types of people. It made it's visually pleasing for people who just look at things on mm-hmm. the surface value, but it's also pleasing for people who like to dig deep mm-hmm. yeah so uh, the, um what's your final takeaway on this guy final take yeah my final take was the digital the pixels and their pre- the overall presentation is mm-hmm. it's so well it's so well done this guy really knows what he's doing he does um what about you again i, I as i said i like the organic feel of it mm-hmm. like it's you have to take a, like another glance at it, or a third glance to start to peel away at it. You do double take at it, yeah. Because if you just look at it fast, like if you're just walking through the room fast to get out of the gallery, like you, you probably wouldn't give it a second notice, right? I think I would, but well, then again, most I'm, people, I'm me. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So I, I like it when you have to like put a little more thought into it, mm-hmm. even though it gives the appearance of simplicity, but there is a lot more thought that went into this. Yes. Yeah. And the the video highlights the little edges that are connected to each other. So like, there's obviously craft craftsmanship in this too. So bam, and we got called, the production is called Pixel Symphony. Oh, it is, huh? Mm-hmm. Cool. So again, we have digital art, mm-hmm. we have craft, and we have kind of like I I what I consider sculpture because it's like it's an it's three dimensional. Yeah. You can walk around it. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Um. Cool. So Philip, uh, Philippe mm-hmm. Sapphire, Sapphire, Philippe Sapphire. Sorry, I'm too ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Philippe Sapphire. Your art bros approved. Mm-hmm. We like you. We like you a lot. Keep doing your thing. And people check out his work. Yes. We'll put a link down there in the description. Yeah, we'll put his website too mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Uh, so other than that, I think we're all set here. All set. All right, art bros out. See you next time. Next time.